Alright, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel and we have some super exciting information about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero and this is about the character slots which may have been confirmed by the Dragon Ball Games Twitter account or X account which is, guys, absolutely amazing. So we have this tweet here from the 22nd of December and it says something quite interesting. Goku! And then we have under brackets, Super, Super Saiyan, God Super Saiyan is ready to break the heavens. Now, why this is so important? Because he said Goku and then Super under brackets, which means that that could be a specific character slot for Goku's Super. And it's going to be a different character slot for the other Gokus. You guys remember, for example, in other previous Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi games, you had, for example, in Budokai Tenkaichi 3, you had base Goku, you had mid Goku, and then you had the final Goku. So each of the characters had their specific, you know, abilities, transformations, and they even looked differently. Their attacks were different, so they were quite, quite different characters. Base Goku compared to final form Goku was completely different. So the question is, how many character slots are we going to get and what character transformations are going to be in that character slot? This is this is quite exciting, guys, because we're seeing here that they are staying true to the Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi like way of doing things to a certain extent. Now, trying to make like a I would say like a comparison, a separation. We have, for example, the Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Z, GT, Dragon Ball Original, as in Kid Goku, of course, and the Fusion. So trying to add these guys kind of separated together starting off with the dragon ball super we would of course go with the base goku then we have super saiyan god super saiyan blue super saiyan god as well actually this one goes here and then we have this one here where he goes kaioken as well which is pretty crazy and then this is kind of like his final form as well super saiyan blue in the tournament of power uh, after that of course we have the ultra instinct as you can see there and the final form ultra instinct the evolution now i don't think they're gonna have all of them but most likely they're gonna have the base version super saiyan god super saiyan god blue and then ultra instinct okay moving on to dragon ball z what can we expect to get well of course we're gonna have the goku so that's gonna be the base goku then we're gonna have the super saiyan goku and super saiyan 2 goku and then Super Saiyan 3 Goku, as you can imagine, and I believe it's going to stop there. That's going to be literally the end of it, right? Obviously, yeah. Now, moving on to GT. What are we going to get in GT? Well, obviously, GT is going to have the Dragon Ball Super Saiyan... Oh, sorry, where, where is it? Like, there we have it here. We have Super Saiyan uh, 4. We don't have him here. Oh, that's pretty pretty bad, to be honest. But yeah, we'll be, of course, the base the base kid Goku. Oh, here. Are we here? No, this is not it. This is uh, Vegito, so that's not it. So we're gonna go here with this one, and then we're gonna go with the fusions. This one here, this guy here, uh, Gogeta. Uh, what else are we gonna get here? Maybe this one, Vegito Super Saiyan. That's right. Gonna go here. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. These are gonna be, of course, the the fusions, which are really gonna be really awesome. Now for the Dragon Ball original, we have Goku Kid. As you can imagine, that's gonna be the classic one. And uh, oh, we got also have Gogeta Super Saiyan, so that's also gonna be the one there available. And yeah, this is how this is basically may, it may look like. So we may have effectively about one, two, three, four, five character slots, most likely, um, if not at least four character slots. Now I do believe that because they are saying they're they're actually very specifically and smartly they're separating. Goku here, so it says Goku Super. So not first form, not second form, not third form. They're specifically saying Super. So these are the Super attacks from Goku, as you can imagine. Which means, most likely, that the Super category is going to be very separated from the GT category and from other categories, which is really awesome, because that means that this particular tier list may actually prove to be true. We're gonna have one Goku here, one Goku here, obviously one Goku here, most likely. This one, questionable, maybe they're gonna release, you know, the original Goku one after that with DLCs or whatever, we have no idea. But definitely the fusions are going to be an interesting spot because the fusions are going to have their own specific spot, own specific character slot, and they're going to be different. Now, the question is, will you be able to fusion Super Goku in one of these? Most likely, yes. Will you be able to fusion Dragon Ball Z, Z Goku with one of these? Only with this guy, and that's it. That's the only option, right? 
Uh, same happens with GT. In Super, of course, you, can, you will be able to fusion, I guess, with most of them, most likely. Uh, but maybe they're gonna lock them in just this guy, and that's it. Most likely, that's, I mean, that, that's a possibility, right? They're gonna go Super Saiyan Blue fusion, but we have no idea how is it going to actually work. Uh, we don't have that much information about that. That's the last information we have about that, to be honest. Which is fine, because uh, as you can see here, these characters, now they don't have any character slots as yet, but maybe they're gonna be mentioned. Now Piccolo, he would most likely have at maximum just once, two slots, tops, because again, Piccolo doesn't have like a lot of evolutions, as you can imagine. Uh, but looking at more news and information, guys, we also have some information on... Uh, the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, so there was a confusion about the pre-order bonus. Let's just go here if we can find it actually, which is uh, Dragon Ball. There we go, so yeah, so well this one here, there is a confusion on the Amazon Web Store about the fact that people are thinking this game is going to be releasing in December, that's not the case. This is this, just a placeholder, that's it, because on the Amazon website it says that the release date for this product has not yet been announced, so you can pre-order it, because basically they know that, you know, Amazon knows that the game will be released before the end of 2024, which kind of makes sense. I mean, come on, I'm, we know that they're gonna release it in December 2024, because, I mean, it's gonna happen, I mean, the game is pretty much finished, right? Uh, so yeah, it's a placeholder, the game will not be released then, but the game will be released by the end of 2024, so that's confirmation that the game is coming in, but guess what, before the end of next year, so we literally have guys less than 12 months left, maybe like 11 months potentially, or 10 months, until the game gets released, and that is just freaking awesome guys, cannot believe it, it's actually happening. Um, yeah, I mean, this is the same one here. Interestingly, we may have an early tease of how multiple Gokus are separated in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Of course, we all expect there to be multiple versions of Goku, so with the official Dragon Ball games account saying Goku Super under brackets, potentially means we'll have Goku, um, Goku Z, Goku GT, with the series forms associated with that particular version. Personally, I would like to customize mix and match outfits. I'd like to use the Saiyan armor uh, on Goku in Super Saiyan Blue, but, so I'm looking forward to how the customization goes. Alternatively, the post could simply be humor, humor, where they are trying to use Super as much as possible in one sentence. Maybe, but I don't think so. I think this was done on purpose. I mean, this was very nicely crafted because they know that the word Super uh, means something very very unique and it's that it's part of the super saga is a super character and it's pretty obvious I mean I mean come on guys I mean let's just be honest I mean that is so freaking all obvious it's 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 crazy right so guys that's it for today's video on this one quite exciting guys to be honest cannot wait uh, to be honest this is gonna be so freaking cool and uh, I'm really hoping that the character slots are going to be more than two or three and like obviously Dragon Ball games fan accounts saying here, let us have it as customizable as possible. So if you can even customize Goku and make him wear any particular suit we want, don't just, you know, force him to wear just that suit because that's part of the, you know, the OG anime kind of like, you know, uh, type and whatever. I mean, you know, you don't have to force people like that. You can, you know, lock transformations under certain characters, but let us customize them as much as we would like because, you know, that's, I mean, come on, we're like, we're like in 2024. That's normal these days, right? And yeah, that's it guys for today's video. As always, I shall see you later in the next upload. If you're new to the channel, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and of course, as always, I will catch you later in the next upload.